So let's do the Nightline Report card. I'm joined now by ABC's senior foreign affairs correspondent Martha Raddatz, who moderated excellently the vice presidential you, debate, and Matt Dowd, our ABC News consultant, who is also a chief strategist for George W. Bush. Let's get right to it. And first, let's grade him on the commander in chief aura that they projected. Mitt Romney, what do you think? B minus. B minus. Uh, B. B. B minus, tough grade. <laughs> tough grade. Well, I think basically because he backed off all his peace through strength and was basically talking about peace all night, and I wondered what happened to the strength. Some of the statements he said, you can't kill your way out of this mess. I wondered what Mitt Romney was talking about from the Mitt Romney we used to know. Hmm. A change in persona. Up A change there. in persona, huh. so maybe not the commander in chief. A plus. What do you think? B. A B. I, I, I thought he came across um, as somebody you could see as President of the United States, and so that little litmus test he could, but he didn't come across as strong and as assertive as he did in his first debate, in my view, and he actually let the president uh, become that more, which we'll talk about in a second. But I think he could be commander in chief. You could see him as president, but it wasn't anything overwhelming. All right, so he's running against the commander in chief, but let's grade him. How did Obama do on projecting that commander in chief authority? I, I thought he was an A minus. A minus? A. A. All right, a. let's start. A. You give me <laughs> a high. You're, you're a tough A. As you know, I have not given an A in this entire series of debates to anyone. I thought this was actually. Barack Obama's best moment. And to me, the commander in chief test and strong and decisive is actually the most important thing in this campaign. It's why Mitt Romney rose in the aftermath of the first debate. And I thought the president came across that way. There was a few instances that I think he was a little, came across a little aggressive. But as you watch that debate, you can say, yeah, I can see he's clear, he's decisive, and he can make the decisions you need to make. And so on that regard, I give him an A. He seems more confident in this area. And so well, he is the commander in chief right now. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. It wasn't quite as hard for him to, to reach that level of an A or an A minus than it was for Mitt Romney. Why'd you give him the A minus? I, I think that there were a couple of things that he said that, that weren't, uh, like on the status of forces agreement, that he wasn't quite right talking about the fact that Mitt Romney said he wanted 20,000 troops to remain there. Uh, President Obama, Obama's administration wanted troops to remain there as well. They just were unable to get a status of forces right. agreement. So that's, that's where he got that. They got stiffed it's, by I, Iraq. I'm a hard grader, too. You so are. So let's no go to, to that. A. You just raised something. Let's, let's grade him on accuracy in this foreign policy debate. How accurate was what they said? First, Mitt Romney, give him an accuracy grade. B minus. B minus. B. B. Tough on Mitt Romney again. Why? <laughs> well, I, I, I just think at all these things, it's, it's the old adage uh, accurate but not true sometimes things things aren't exactly right what didn't you like about what did you find in error or slightly slippery in what Romney said well, well I thought there were a couple of cases when he was talking about Syria when he was talking about we want to keep trying and we just want to arm we, we want to arm some of the rebels but we have to figure out who they are I, I, I just think there's so much nuance in these things mm. basically I hate giving these grades because there's <laughs> because there's so much nuance in this it, it, it it's really hard to give a definitive grade Matt has no problem with that he was grading right away but especially in this foreign affairs area yeah I have no problem being definitive so far stuff. away and then saying I made a mistake a day later saying <laughs> I screwed up um, I, I think that the interesting thing about this debate and, and I sort of saw accuracy as substance on foreign policy in the course of this debate, I didn't see Mitt Romney make any real distinction with the president of the United States. I thought his whole strategy was me too. Whatever the president just said, me too, but I'll do something slightly different, but I'm not going to say what it is. So on substance, it will be because he basically said exactly what the president said. Okay, let's give the president a grade on accuracy. Okay, I'm going with the B minus there, and that's back to the status of forces agreement. And, and just the same thing. It's, ju it's just the nuance. I find myself on those little foreign policy things, and none no one else in America is doing this because you me, know okay? it so well. So it's just those tiny little. Your grade on Obama's a, a, accuracy. A B. A B. And, All right. And for the same same exact reason, I said they, they both. There was no real debate right. on foreign policy. No solutions. Right. You know, nothing like that. Who no, needs Nothing that you knew right? something was going to change <laughs> next year. So if you didn't watch it, you didn't really miss anything. But let's <laughs> let's give them the bottom line here. Who's the winner in your judgment? I, I, I'm not going to say there's a clear winner, but I would say overall Obama probably scored more points because he goes into this as commander in chief. So he walks out there, does the job he's done. Uh, Mitt Romney probably was just showing up and saying, look, I'm on the same stage as he is. I don't want to make any waves. I don't want to talk about war. I don't want to scare anybody. 
Because uh, Barack Obama got it, the commander in chief test passed in colors, I think he won. And I think it was fairly clear, fairly decisive and fairly clear. I don't think Mitt Romney hurt himself, but I think Barack Obama may have helped himself a point or two in the course of this debate by winning this tonight. Romney may have been playing it a little too safe. A little too, too soft in this, of course, of the debate. He actually right. became the peace candidate in the course of this debate.